So does activated charcoal help in the context of drug overdoses? Today I'm going to talk about two randomized controlled trials that tried to answer this question. The first is by Cooper et al. and this looked at 300 or so patients presenting to an emergency department in Australia that had taken overdoses of varying kinds. They randomized people either to receive charcoal or no gastric decontamination, and they didn't find a significant difference in outcome between the two groups. So does this mean that people shouldn't receive charcoal? Well, there are some limitations to the study. Firstly, it was a heterogeneous population, meaning it didn't focus on just one type of overdose, it included any type of overdose. Second thing was, most of the overdoses were paracetamol and benzodiazepines, which normally have quite good outcomes anyway, and it'd be hard to show an effect using those patients. And the third thing is that they excluded seven patients with severe or potentially life-threatening overdoses from the study, and those may be the patients that would be most likely to benefit from activated charcoal. The second paper that I want to talk about is by Edelston et al. So this is a large randomized controlled trial looking at more than four and a half thousand patients in rural Sri Lanka presenting with overdoses. They randomized people to either receive no charcoal or a single dose of charcoal or multiple doses of charcoal. And they found no difference in outcome between any of the three groups. Now, again, they had some limitations with and the main one, other than it being another heterogeneous population, was that most of these overdoses were of organophosphate poisoning or oleander poisoning. And those are uncommon in the developed world. So it's hard to apply this study to your practice in America, the UK or Australia. So does this mean that we shouldn't give charcoal anymore because of these two randomized controlled trials? Well, it probably doesn't mean that. It may just mean that there are only certain groups of people that benefit from charcoal. I'll talk about some specific drugs where charcoal is or isn't helpful in some other videos. But uh, it probably is fair to say that in the majority of cases, people don't necessarily need charcoal for an overdose.